Good morning, traders. Today is September 27, 2023. My name is John Kerrigan. I moderate the BYOB Trading Room. My spy pivot this morning is going to be 427. Above it, I'm a bull. Below it, I'm a bear. All four indices and the FNGU, still the same thing, are all in daily downtrends. Today will be the possible seventh price advancement candle for the MMRP on the SPY daily chart. I'm just going to say that. I'm really not seeing it happening today, but I'm just going to put it out there just in case it does happen. Uh, U.S. dollar index continues to grind higher on the daily chart all the way up to the 106 levels. USO currently consolidating in a bull flag pattern. Uh, on the daily chart, UNG still winding up in the six to eight dollar range channel, and SLV continues to consolidate over 2050. GLD continues to consolidate over 175. All right, let's go look at some charts. I'm tired. All right, so here's here's SPY. Here's our daily chart of SPY. Looks like we're gapping up this morning. We gapped down yesterday. Um, daily chart of SPY. Okay, we've got lower high, lower low. That's what we had for price action yesterday. Uh, downtrend, yes. Lower high, lower low. Candle, lower high, lower low. And, of course, you've got price action. 3 EMA, 8 EMA, all well underneath our trend indicator. Uh, here's our uh, head and shoulders neckline. We'll go ahead and put that in. And you can see we've broken the head and shoulders pattern uh, right through there. All right, there's our head and shoulders neckline. And that's us piercing the neckline there. Uh, for targets for today, back to the neckline which would be about 430. We'll see if we get there, all right? Uh, I think it just moves to the right, but uh, target for today would be back to the neckline. So there's SPY, QQQ. QQQ, let's just go ahead and look at the chart here. What do we got? Lower highs, lower lows, lower high, lower low. Daily candle for yesterday, lower high, lower low. Price action, 3 EMA, 8 EMA, all underneath trend indicator right here. Uh, this is in a daily downtrend. What do we have for QQQ? And we have a head and shoulders neck pattern. And not sure where we are with that. I think it's right through there. So QQQ right on the neckline right now at this time. We'll see if they're going to roll that over. There's QQQ. FNGU. All right, now here's FNGU. Uh, this is the chart. This is the uh, product. It's got 10 of the most heavily weighted uh, products within the SPY and the QQQ. And uh, consequently, it winds up jerking uh, both of those indices around pretty easily with those ten uh, with those ten products. So this is the one to watch. You watch this one right here. It's going to tell you pretty much where those two indices are going to wind up going for the day. So here we have a head and shoulders neckline right here. You can see they broke it already. And they came back to the back side of that neckline and H pattern rolled over. So we've got lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. For the daily candle price action, we've got lower high, lower low. We've got price action, 3 EMA, 8 EMA, all underneath our trend indicator. This thing is in a downtrend. We are in a downtrend, people. FNGU, IWM. IWM is in a daily downtrend. If you look, we've got a lower high and a lower low. Daily chart candle, lower high, lower low right there. Price action, 3 EMA, 8 EMA, all well underneath our trend indicator right there. 
Price is moving down right there, IWM. Here's the neckline break of the head and shoulders pattern right through. Connect that one right up to that one. There's your neckline break. This is in a downtrend. Now, where will it find support? Right through here. This will probably cause it to move to the right sometime soon. Probably right along there. Right through there should be some, uh, some support. Uh, probably waffle back and forth over to the right. If it keeps moving down, of course you've got major resist, major support all the way down here at 168.56. Not sure how low it wants to go. You got some at 170.168, and then all the way down here at 168. Basically 168.99 right there. So there's IWM. Take a look at Diamond Dow. Here's Diamond Dow. Here is the neckline right through here. Diamond Dow breaking the uptrend. Notice the uptrend starting back here. Here's the uptrend. Head and shoulders pattern. Here's the neckline. <clears throat> and price action going through the neckline here. Uh, we are into support all through here. Next level of support is 326.71, although it should find support well before that, probably about 332.75. So there's Diamond Dow in a downtrend, lower high, lower low. Price action, lower high, lower low from yesterday. Uh, price action, 3 EMA and 8 EMA all underneath our trend indicator. This thing is going down right now. That's Diamond Dow. Now let's go take a look at some of our indicators here. So this is what happened yesterday. Uh, day before we were in the oversold zone and the sell zone. And yesterday we fell back into the oversold zone right through here. We can stay here for a week. And price can continue to grind away to the downside. So there's T2122. We'll see what it wants to do today. T2123, 15 minute chart, red all day long. Started out and they just started selling. They didn't even stop for coffee. They just got up and said, let's sell. So there's T2123. Here's T2123 on the three bar chart. A lot of space between the trend indicator and the price action. It's going to be a long time before we get a, a, a longer time frame that's going to look bullish. Because there's a whole lot, of, whole lot of space to fill there on T2123. Let's go back to the charts and let's look at... That's a lot of moving averages. That's better. All right, here's USO on the daily chart, and you can see the move up. See, here's the move up, USO, now bull flagging over to the right. If you look at this, you got a line that comes up here, and then here's your box flag right through there. Okay, so there's the flagpole, there's the flag. Higher low, higher high. This is in an uptrend, just in a bull flag consolidating at this time. SLV. SLV. This is a move up and then move to the right, consolidating over the 2050 level, right through there. Uh, if you look at the other chart, here it is. Bull's got to break the downtrend line. Bear's got to break the uptrend line and the 2050 support. Bear's got to break the 2050 support and the uptrend line. So there's SLV. Let's take a look at GLD. Then we're going to go hit natural gas. So I did not forget natural gas. All right, so here's a move up and a move to the right. So this is a bullish consolidation. Uh, bulls. Bulls have to break this downtrend line. Bears. Bears have to break the support level at 175. 
bullish consolidation here in GLD. It's been about what one, two, three, four, five, going on six months consolidation for GLD. Let's take a look at UNG. Now UNG, nothing changed here. This is a big bear flag. There's your flagpole. And then the green box represents the uh, bear flag part of the flagpole. So here we are, UNG consolidating between $6 and $8 right there. Just moving to the right, still winding up, waiting for something to break it, break free here on UNG. All right, let's take a look at our dollar index. Then we're going to go take a look at financial semiconductors and transports. Matter of fact, let's just go look at those now. All right, so let's look at the SMH. This is the uh, little bit of the technology sector right here. This would be our semiconductors. So move up, move to the right, big sloppy bull flag right there. Um, you can see uh, bears breaking the bottom of the flag right there. So there's the support was at 144.17, bears breaking through. Uh, not very convincing though. The uh, bulls have kind of held it up here for three days. So we'll see what happens. In the SMH, we do have a downtrend because we have lower high and lower lows. Right there, SMH. So this could retrace all the way back. So where's the midpoint for this move? Right there. They are at the midpoint at this time. So we'll see if they are going to reverse it and climb back up into that flag area. Now let's go take a look at, if you look at price action yesterday, got a lower high, lower low. Of course, the 3 EMA, the 8 EMA, and price action all underneath the trend indicator. There's SMH. IYT, so here's our transports, lower high, lower low on the daily chart. For the price action yesterday, lower high, lower low. And if we look at the price action 3 EMA, 8 EMA, all underneath our 17 day trend indicator, price is coming down to consolidation level right here. So this would be minor support. So we should start seeing some turnaround soon. Uh, you know, hopefully, if they can find support. So this should. This should act as support, the first time uh, price action coming back to it. Now this acted as support, and you can see we had this little hang up right here, uh, but they managed to get through that. This is much more consolidation through there. That should hold price for a couple weeks from falling any further. We'll see what happens. There's IYT. Let's go look at financials, XLF. All right, here's XLF putting in lower high and a lower low. Also in a downtrend, uh, bulls needed to break this downtrend line. Bears need to break this uptrend line. So here we are with consolidation in XLF from a move up over to the right, breaking the midpoint right here. Price action, 3 EMA and 8 EMA well underneath our trend indicator. So this is uh, right now. We're looking for a bounce here on diagonal support. For the XLF. Here they spiked it yesterday. We're looking for a turnaround. Now let's take a peek at. Let's go look at. The dollar. Alright here's the dollar. Just not giving up. Alright I got to tell you. Just not giving up. Not one bit. Alright so. Here's the move up from the dollar through minor resistance here, here, and here. Through major resistance here, here, and here. And continues to grind higher in the 106 levels now. Uh, just day after day, this thing just keeps grinding higher. Not good for the markets. Uh, makes our goods and services more expensive, so... Uh, there you go, up at 104, almost to 10, excuse me, 106.40 now, all right? So not looking good for the markets at all. Uh, continue to grind higher. How high can it go? Well, 
it was earlier in 2022 all the way up to 114 okay see that didn't spend much time at 114 but it was all the way up at 114 spent more time at 112 Of course, we're blasting through these peaks too, here, 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 and here. So, so here's the US dollar going up. All right, so here's the economic calendar. All right, for today, durable goods, 830. Maybe we can get this market moving in the right direction. Big number, GDP, I don't expect that to be bad. Uh, it may fall a little bit, but I don't think it's going to fall all that much. So GDP 830, I think that'll be some good news for us Thursday. At least I'm, I'm really thinking. I don't see uh, I don't see things dropping off. And uh, by the way, GDP has been creeping up instead of down. So that's good news for GDP. And that's about jobless claims at 830. And that's about it. International trade goods and personal income and outlays on Friday. Uh, not seeing a whole lot of market movement uh, generated from those two, but uh, the big one would be GDP and CPI. So uh, this is the big one tomorrow. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Earnings calendar. We've got earnings. We got Micron Technology reports after the close. Paychecks reports uh, in this in the opening hours, right here for Wednesday, Thursday. The big ones are Accenture, Nike, and Jabil. Accenture, 200 million right there, billion, 200 billion on Accenture right there. So that may move the markets a little bit. On Friday, not much happening Friday. Tuesday, we got Costco and we got Cintas yesterday. And, of course, the markets went down. So I don't think either one of them made a big difference. For Max Payne, what are we looking for for Friday? Let's go take a look. So Max Payne for Friday is 440. I don't know if they're going to hit that. Um, I'm not going to say they can't. Last time it was uh, 332 on a Friday. And, boy, did they start heading in that direction. So... So far, Max Payne is 440. Uh, again, puts the call. There's uh, two puts for every call. Uh, so, again, heavy on the put side, but Max Payne is 440. So, we'll see what happens. And that's it, traders. I want to thank everybody out there that subscribed to my channel. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget, we got trials going on. Uh, you can get a trial for $24.50. Just look down below in the description. There'll be links to uh, three of the different trials that we offer. And that's it. I hope to see you all at 4 o'clock today. Uh, that is the morning market conditions and analysis. For September 27, 2023, I'm going to take questions in the room now.